Welcome to another episode of Beyond Cheers, Detective Gomez Files. I'm your host, Detective Gomez, and today we're talking about the 10 things that people say when they get caught cheating. It's what cheaters say when they get caught cheating. You know, and the reason I, I can talk about this, because I actually worked on a TV show called Cheaters, where we caught people cheating all the time. I'm a private investigator, where I catch people cheating all the time, and I hear some of the dumbest reasons. And I'm going to give you a few from my own experience also. So let's talk about some of the top 10 right now. Uh, this is part one, so there'll be another part two coming up very, very soon. The first one is that it was, it was just sex. Now, when somebody tells you it was just sex, so they're, they're going to tell you that um, they took off their clothes, they did this, this, and this with the other person, and it was just, it didn't, didn't mean anything. So I guess when they do it with it, different person like the part their wife or their husband boyfriend girlfriend whatever it may be then i guess it means something but when you take your sex your clothes off and have sex and um do whatever positions you do with somebody else it just just sex not a big deal yeah okay uh number two let's go with number two here you made me cheat your partner's quick to blame somebody else as, as the easiest target and as you he or she may put you in full blame and claiming that you're distant and you never show affection. Come on now. That doesn't make any sense. You're going to make somebody go cheat. You're going to make somebody go drop their pants, drop their panties, you know, take their clothes off. You're going to make, you're, you're going to go make somebody else go do that. Just, a, just dumb, dumb, dumb racist excuses. Um, how about this one? Number three. I'm, I'm sorry I got caught. You know, they say they cheat or sometimes express their insincere remorse to gain forgiveness for loss of words when they get found out. So basically the cheater saying, I'm sorry, you you busted me. And uh, they're probably going to try to work it out. But you can't just say you can't say you're sorry for sitting there, get in the back seat with somebody having sex. And you can't just say you're sorry for that. And let's just start off off nice the next, you know, normal the next day. It just, just doesn't work out like that. Um. Number four, and so I think this is a pretty good one here. I didn't cheat uh, because everybody has their own definition of cheating. So this person might say, I didn't cheat. You know, I mean, basically what you think is, I mean, I didn't cheat. I was just talking to this guy. I mean, what you believe, what I believe are two different uh, differences of cheating. And I didn't cheat. So I don't think you should be accusing me of cheating. Even though we were just hanging out kissing, that's not cheating to me. So the, they'll, they'll come at they'll come at you like that and tell you that. Another dumb excuse, dumb, dumb reasons. Uh, you know, for something that they would say when they caught cheating. Another one is, it won't happen again. It only happened once. Hey, it only happened once. I'm sorry. I, I was I was doing her in the backseat of her car. And it, it, it won't happen again. Trust me, it won't happen again. Yeah. It's not going to work. Dumb, dumb. Another just classic things that cheaters say when they get caught. You know, it won't happen again. It says your partner here may use effort to dismiss the mistake at one time occurring and it won't happen again. And they want you to kind of forgive them. It says here why you should make cautious statement may be honest and, and it may not be. You know, so I honestly I, I don't think when somebody's um with somebody else and they're they're having sex, they're thrusting against each other. Yeah, it's not gonna happen again. I don't think so. It'll happen again. It's just a matter of when it's gonna happen. Okay, number uh, six, I was seduced. Saying that this um is a good way to blame the affair. Blame, you know, they're the victim. Oh, well, I, they gave me too many drinks or they slipped something in my drink. That's what's made me drop my clothes off and have sex with a person. You know, that's how it happened. Eh, I'm not going to buy that stuff. You know, it, there are, you know, I do believe there are some situations like that in the past, but if you're in a relation with somebody, you shouldn't be even putting your, yourself in a position to where somebody could seduce you if you're at home with your, with your significant other. So it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Number seven. I wasn't happy in our relationship. If you're not happy, then get out of it. Why be in it if you're not happy? There's probably some, you know, I would say there's probably some truth to this statement, but they're also feeling guilty. Their unhappy relationship doesn't mean that you go get have sex, you go get some counseling or something, or just break up with the person. But don't go out and, and have sex with somebody just because you're unhappy. Number eight, you don't understand me. Okay, this one's a little challenging. So your husband and wife may claim that the other person under, doesn't understand their needs. Like there's certain sexual needs that they're not fulfilling. So they got to go get it someplace else. And the statement is intended to make you feel like you're the outside of what uh, what they want. 
and says something a lot of times says your spouse may crave a novelty or excitement and you're not doing what they want them to do hey maybe i don't want to have a threesome that's not what i want okay maybe that's not what i wanted that's not that's the way i want to have it but it doesn't give you an excuse to go out and have sex with somebody else you just you just don't do it or, or get a divorce and have all the threesomes you want so a lot of times things like that can happen you don't okay number nine how can you not trust me another way where your spouse deflects the blame by accusing you of being suspicious he or she may try to make you feel distrustful or petty for bringing up the possibility of possible of cheating but if your partner wants to maintain your trust here he or she should be willing to discuss any doubts and come forward with the truth recognize this is another way to divert uh, guilt of cheating has occurred and it shows your partner isn't ready to build a healthy relationship with you and let's go with number 10 and uh and where were you last night okay now this is where they're trying to flip it back on you or like where, so where were you what were you doing why are you checking up on me and it's often used as to, to way to swap roles of the accuser or where they become the accuser they're accusing you of what you were doing you know were you at your friend's house how do i know you weren't cheating but yours goes to shift the focus so you can forget about their own wrongdoings here she wants to confuse you and make you feel like you've been caught in a lie that this demonstrates the inability to cope and strongly uh and be indicative of a toxic relation that's probably what you're in because they're just trying to flip it back on you so definitely definitely when you hear these top you know the one top 10 or uh, 10 uh uh things that cheaters say when they get caught that's what they're going to say they're going to find different ways to try to get out of it and try to lots of times put it back on you make it sound like you're the person doing something wrong no, don't put up with it get out of the relationship and set yourself free because Cheaters will say anything they can to try to hold on to either, you know, you know the old saying, you can have your cake and eat it too. If they think you're something good or something, say, think you have something to offer to the relationship, they're going to try to keep that. They don't want to lose that. Okay. But if they can get a little a piece of cake, on stay tuned for part two coming up next. This is Beyond Cheating, Detective Gomez Files, and I'll see you soon.